folks, I'm actually going through the deflate gate report and it's long. It's 243 pages. See, take a look. 243. I've got to go to the airport soon, so this is just a brief look at the investigative report concerning footballs used during the AFC Championship game on January 18th, 2015 by Theodore Wells, Brad Karp, and Lauren Reznor. Dated May 6, 2015. Scope of investigation. Witnesses interviewed. Materials reviewed. Let's go to page 22 real quick and see what we find. Page 22. Let's scroll down real quick here. Grab this thing up there and scroll down. Ah, look at this. These are text messages. On October 24th, 2014, McNally and Jazrimski exchanged the following messages. Let's see. Size 11, two thirds. Tom must be really on you. 11 or 11 and a half. Two times less is tight fitting. Now, I hasn't even mentioned it. Figured you should get something since he gives you nothing. On two, January 7, 2015, 11 days before the AFC Championship game, McNally and Cherimsky discussed how McNally would have a big autograph day and receive items autographed by Brady the following weekend before the playoff game against the Baltimore Ravens. McNally and Cherimsky exchanged the following text messages. Remember to put a couple of sweet pig skins ready for Tom to sign. You got it, kid. Big autograph day for you. Nice. Throw some kicks in and make it real special. Lucky. Okay. And um, they got their autograph footballs. And then at number seven here, in addition to the messages described above before the start of the 2014-15 season, McNally referred to himself as the deflator and stated that he was not going to ESPN dot dot yet. <laughs> On May 9th, 2014, McNally and Chesjewski exchanged the following text messages. You working? Yep. Nice dude. Jimmy needs some kicks. Let's make a deal. Come on, help the deflator. Wow. That's just... I just happened to find that, folks. There's more. This really, really looks bad. More to come. More to come. Deflategate.